Okay, so I'm getting ready to rebuild the mini gearbox, but before I actually get into the rebuild, I just want to show you a couple of things, and that will be two little videos first. So the first one is the synchronizer hubs and how to reassemble them. So the reason I'm doing this is you may, as I did, have separated the inner from the outer parts when you were taking apart the gearbox, and when you did, you will probably have found that the springs and the ball bearings went everywhere. Um, if you didn't, then you are exceptionally lucky and you probably don't need to be watching this video anyway. But if you have taken them apart, it's quite easy to get the inner bit the wrong way round. So I'm going to take this apart just so I can show you. The easiest way to take it apart is to put it in a little sandwich bag, zip it up, and then you should be able to take it apart without risking pinging the ball bearings everywhere. So there we go, that's the outer part. The outer part is what the selectors push over. And this is the inner part, make sure the springs are out. Yep, three springs, three balls. So with this one, this little lip in here it's very similar on both sides. In fact, there is a little difference. I don't know if you'll spot this. I'll just zoom in. Zoom in. Yeah, you can see slightly more on this side, slightly more there than there is on this side here. Um, but it's very easy to put this in the wrong way around. And if you do, the gearbox really will not work very well at all. And I will demonstrate as to why. I don't need to put it back together. But what I do need is to put the gears back on the shaft. So first thing, I've got the bearing in place. Let's get, I don't know, this one I think. So that one goes on there. Get a bolt ring on, put that in the right place. Now it's important for this to work that you do actually put the retaining ring back in. So we're just going to put that in. I'm not going to put the plungers back on because I want it to be able to come off again. Just slide that in. So that's now, oh, let's get it in the camera. So there you can see, I've got all that in place. So now if I put this in the correct way around, you'll see what happens. So the correct way is where the uh, the sleeve is less. So I think you can see it there, so there's less sleeve on this side. So I'll stick that on, line up that. Now what should happen is when I push this against that, then this should grip on and make this hard to turn. So that is really stiff and that is correct. That is what the synchronizer's job is to do, is to push the bolt ring on to the gear and match its speed or synchronize its speed. Now if I take that off, put it on the other way around. Right, so now if I try the same thing by pushing those two together, it never locks it up. So what I'm trying to say here is this needs to be that way around. Hopefully you can see that. So that one must go like that with the collar there. And then this needs to be that way around. like so. Okay, I should have probably pointed out that this is the synchronizer for numbers one and two, gears one and two. So we now have a look at the other end, which is the synchronizer for three and four. Now I'm not gonna take this one apart, it is assembled correctly. You can see this bit down here, there really isn't much on this side, and there is loads on this side. So again, I'll show you what it does if you get it the wrong way round. It's more obvious this side. So, Swap that over. Put on the smallest gear, that one. Put on one of those. Again, you need to put your locking ring on just so we can see the effect. And then we'll get that, and I will deliberately put it on the wrong way round, which is with the bit facing in. That is wrong. And you'll see it doesn't even 
go up, there's a big old gap there, so it's never going to work. So it has to go the other way around. And that way, again, you can try it by pushing the two together. It really makes it very hard to turn the two. So that is correct, like so. So hopefully that's helped you. The last thing I'm going to do is just to rebuild this. So I've got the springs, I've got the balls. And the first thing you're going to do, without losing the orientation, put the springs in. Obviously you've got to line it up correctly. Hold it slightly high and then put the first ball in. Oops, I'll drop it one or two. Put the first ball in there. Just hold it very carefully like that. I'm not pushing it in yet. Put another one there. Like so. And the last one here. Now, what I need to try and do is quite hard to do while recording it, is I need to push these in with a screwdriver one by one and then hopefully the whole lot will slide down. You need to be careful you don't trap little bits of your glove. And there we go, that's all gone in. So that is the synchroniser together. And with that inner bit, as it is now, that would be in the neutral position. I hope that has helped somebody, because maybe, like me, you've uh, separated the two and didn't know which way they went. So thanks for watching and please keep subscribed for some more videos.